Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, size 14 dry fly hook. Some grey tying thread. This is the parachute Adams. So we just go a ways back to there. Oops. There we are. Then what we need is a brown hackle. I want about half a dozen fibres from this for the tail. Let's measure that. And what I like to do is just tack this in with two or three turns. Just hold it in position. Good. Then we need a grizzle hackle. Half a dozen. Put these on top of the brown. Go back a ways. We'll do this, and then we'll go up. Towards the thorax. Let's get rid of those. And we need a little bunch of white calf tail. Cleaned and stacked. And we just... Tie that in for the post. Go back a few turns and then we can trim this off at a long angle. Oops, missed a few. There we go. And we'll just go over that so we get the tapered body. And back up, lift one on the wrong side there, lift the whole post and we'll just build up in front to support it. Excellent. And I'll just take the post and we'll go around the base to gather all the calf hair together and secure a foundation for the hackles and just go where it's up And we can come back down again. And I've prepared two saddle hackles. One grizzly, one brown. Hold these back to back. Now you want to make sure that you have clean stem all the way up the hackle to tie to the post. We secure this all the way up to the top of the post like so and then we can go back down again and we can lock off the hackle stems like so. Go back right to the tail base. And we take some Adams Grey super fine dubbing and we just dub that on that fiber very finely at the top and then we'll slide that up to the tail base and we'll just catch that in. Like so, then we can wrap the rest of our dub in, spin it tightly. Holding your dubbing in place, what you don't come 
in contact with the hook. Like I nearly did there. We've got up the body. To the thorax forward. Oops, sorry, and give that a whip finish there. Just give it one more. Yeah. Remove our tying thread. And we'll spin the fly around. Like so. Pick our tying thread and reattach it to the post. Get that out of the way. We'll take our hackles. You don't want to wind these too tight because you've got two hackles going on here. So you, you want to have a little opening between them. Once we've got the brown one in, once over the hackle and once under the hackle. So. Can remove that there and we take our grizzle. I think I'll use a hackle plier on this. I have more control of placing it in between the last one. So we just go around there then into our brown hackle and down, then again once over the hackle and once under under again good and just remove that and the tying thread there we go and then we'll take our whip finisher Give it another one under the hackles. Let's pull that in tight and tighten like so. Get rid of that tying thread. Turn the fly back around. Then we can replace it back in the vise. And that's the finished parachute Adams. You can, uh, instead of fiddling around with two different coloured hackles, you can use instant Adams, which is a grizzly variant that has a lot of brown in it, or you can use a Cree, which I believe is the original hackle for the Adams. But as usual, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.